Agriculture is Montana's leading industry, contributing over $2.4 billion to the state annually, so the Magic City wanted to show it some love. Q2's Jenny Fick shares how the state's farmers and ranchers are being celebrated by the very communities they supply. The first ever Agricultural Celebration Week, presented by the Billings Chamber, kicked off Sunday the 24th, virtually. We always meet in person and we have a 500 to 700 person event where we get to honor this industry, they get to be together. Couldn't do that this year, but we knew that it was still very important to honor this industry because, you know, they kept food on the table when COVID hit and the clothes that we wear. People have to buy equipment still, people have to feed farmers still, they have to feed livestock, you know, it, it just never stops so even though COVID comes around ag still has to move. The week was created to bridge communication and support between the community and those in the industry. There's lots of things that I don't think people realize that involve agriculture about about everything does you know ag's out in the country you don't see it as much in town so this will be a, a unique way for people to actually see how the ag industry gets involved. Throughout the seven days, people can engage in a variety of ag supporting and educating activities. We have a game card where you can get out and support those industries. I just don't think people realize if you're drinking a beer at By All Means or at Uber Brew, you're supporting Montana ag industry because that's their barley comes from here. Or you go to Trailhead Spirits and drink his vodka. You know, all of that wheat comes from his family farm. So there's a lot of ways to get out and support the industry. People are encouraged to visit businesses that are being highlighted for their implementation of farm to table ideas. We we did a cooking series, Ag Around the Table series, where we got to go into some restaurants and talk with chefs and really learn about all of the Montanans that they're supporting. You know, we went to Fieldhouse and every single layer of this burger was from Montana. It was just incredible. Another activity lets you try to guess the location around town of the plush version of the Yellowstone County Museum's two-headed calf. They can actually go to billingschamber.com or we'll have a landing page um, with all of the information. We have interviews with Yellowstone Valley Electric Cooperative, Casey McGowan at Trailhead Spirits, cooking series videos as well. It's all right there. We've got some fun facts throughout the week, but we really want to challenge the community. You know, download the game board, get out and go out and support these businesses. We do have prizes for you to win. Watch these interviews and learn about these people's story. You know, we're going to have a couple different blogs that are post social media contests. You know, don't let this week go by without learning and supporting this industry that um, that works so hard for us. In Billings, Jenny Fick, MTN News. Thank you, Jenny. This year's Agriculture Excellence Award winner was Karen Yost of Nutrilix. Ag Celebration Week runs through next Saturday.